What's up, people? It's Friday dance party time. Who's joining me in the house? It's so great to be with you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who's joining me live. If you're throwing yourself into the Friday dance party, give me an emoji. Let me know that you're here. We are upping it for the weekend, people. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> It's like a little performance. Thank you. It's so great to be with you guys. Thank you so much. It's so awesome to have you here. We've got the Friday vibes going on. Up in it for the weekend. Come on. Give me a shout out if you're joining me live. We're up in it for the weekend, baby. You've got to be yourself. Know that it's okay to be yourself. And you don't need to be, or look like, or try and become anyone else. Thank you to everybody joining me live. All right, dance party time. Dance party time. You were born this way. Thank you so much. I love, love, love spending so much time with you guys. This is so incredible. And I just wrapped up a fantabulous live stream on my fan page. And I wanted to jump right on over here and tell you the exciting news. Because not only is it Friday, not only are we on the verge of another awesome weekend, but this is your moment of power. Why? Because every, I, I cannot even believe the phone is ringing. That is so funny. Talk about a live, like a live, um, this, just goes to show, right, that it's live. The phone is ringing, people. Hilarious. Thank you so much to everybody who's dropping on live. And if you are here for the first time and you're wondering who on earth I am, I am. My name is Kylie Pax. I'm Australia's Emotional Eating Coach, and I am so excited to be with you. I'm here to help you take control of your relationship with food, create a body and a life that you love, and do it all, bam, on your terms. So to everybody, again, if you've never met me before, I'm not always this crazy, I can absolutely assure you. But it is Friday and I am super excited to be here with you because I wanted to share the three steps to basically rewiring your brain for body love, right? So easy, so simple and just like that, it can be done. It is just like a magic formula. So really, if you've ever looked in the mirror and thought to yourself, can I even stand what I'm looking at? If you've jumped on those bathroom scales and you thought, do you not want to know about that number? If you've tried to pull on the jeans and thought, muffin top city, why, why, why? And you've hated the whole thing, then today is for you. I am giving you quickly right now my three hot tips to overcome that body hatred, replace it with some body love, and it's really simple and it's really easy. And the absolute like key part is you already know this. I'm not gonna, I'm actually not gonna tell you anything new. I'm gonna tell you what you already know, but didn't realize that you that it was something you're already using every single day of your life. So I was talking to an absolutely thank you, Alyssa's in the house. I was talking to an absolutely gorgeous girl today in part of my boot camp. Um, as you know, Ditch the Diet Online Boot Camp is my signature worldwide smash hit. Helped over 600 women now um, just power through their emotional eating issues, shed the weight all the way up to all the way up to 25 kilos, you know, 55 pounds. And it is an awesome, awesome life-changing program. If you want to know more about that, you can message me or just skip on over to my website, kyliepacks.com forward slash bootcamp. You'll see the bootcamp signs there. But I was talking to one of the girls in the bootcamp today and she had this revelational moment, like her big Oprah-worthy aha moment, right, where she thought, I cannot even believe it, but she's a stunning woman. She's an adult and given birth to a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful girl. And she's like, I've spent my entire life hating my body. Entire life. She said, I could remember all the way back to when I was 10 years old, crying to a friend about how much she hated her body. And she was sort of like, I've got the revelation, revelation, right? Like I've got the aha moment, but now what am I supposed to do? Where do I go from here? And this is what I wanted to quickly, quickly share with you because I gave her these three simple tips and I thought, oh, it's too juicy. I just want to share it with you all because I love you all so much. And because so many of us suffer with this day in, day out, day in, day out, where we get ourselves revved up, love myself, and then we jump on the bathroom scales, e hate myself, right? We wake up in the morning, I can do this, yeah, I'm going to start my eating and it's going to be great and I'm going to love myself. And then we walk past that bathroom mirror, e cellulite, hate myself, right? 
We will even walk past a shop window. Like, you know how you do, right? You're feeling good about yourself, walking past, and you check out that reflection. You're like, why did I look, right? So we are constantly judging ourselves. But here's what I want to share with you today, because that's a whole other issue over there, the constant judgment. Here's what I wanted to share with you, the three simple steps, right? Because we are constantly looking for a magic formula. We think there's something that is missing and we need to get it, right? There's something I don't have right now and I need to get it. We're out there Googling for the solution. We're buying meal replacement shakes and we're doing the whole thing, popping like the pills that fill you up and make you not be hungry anymore. Okay, whatever. That's a fun way to live, right? But really, we have had this answer all the time. And not only have we had it, we use it every single day of our lives. So here is the very first step. Now, I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to do it in reverse, right? Let me tell you, if you are hating on your body, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, if you're not happy with the situation, I'm going to tell you how it came to be and then you use the exact same method to reverse it. Flip it and reverse it, right? Here's how it starts. At some point in our lives, we looked around us and we compared ourselves to what we saw. Magazines, internet, now, right, whatever's going on. And we made a simple decision that what we had going on was not acceptable, not, right? It starts with a decision. That is the first step. It's a simple decision. The second step is that at, at some point then after that, you simply decided that what you had come up with was true. It's the facts. You just decided it was the facts. Nobody could prove it as a fact. You saying that, you know, my body doesn't look like that magazine makes you unacceptable. Now, granted, the diet industry you know, spoon feeds us every day, making us feel that way. And so due to those forces, external forces, right, we do. We simply decide that what we've come up with, I don't look like that person, therefore I'm not acceptable. We decide it as fact. And then what we do is we basically brainwash ourselves, right? So the third step is we brainwash ourselves and we repeat the mantra over and over and over until it becomes our everyday reality. It's just, you don't even give it a second thought. You're right. You, you, loving yourself, you wouldn't even consider it because you just have now decided that your reality is self-disgust, self-hate, hate my body. It's not, it's not acceptable. Doesn't look like Victoria's, Victoria's Secret model. Doesn't look like a runway model. You know, cu- you know, I'm not going to cut it. Like I don't look like a Kardashian, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, whatever. We're constantly measuring ourselves up against other people And because you are not other people, you are you, how can you measure up to somebody else? You're not supposed to look like them. You're never going to look like them. It's not part of the deal, right? You can't get what somebody else has. It's not meant for you. That's meant for them. You've got your own vibe going on, right? So here is the three simple steps. That is the breakdown. You've already used it to get to the place that you're at now. All you need to do is resurrect it and use it again but switch it out in reverse to get to the place you want to be this time right so step one you make a simple decision my body is acceptable and let me just put it out there very often we think but if I start loving myself then I won't ever lose weight because I'll just be so in love with myself that I won't lose the weight Uh, That's garbage. You can't hate your way to happiness. The only way that you will ever lose the weight is by loving yourself enough to be to want to take care of yourself and want to, right? Because very often people think if I love myself, then I won't want to lose the weight. Like there's a sort of a stage of confusion there. It's like it's not an either or situation. You can absolutely, if you have excess weight on your body, if you're not at your natural body weight, yeah, you can 100% still and should still be wanting to reach your natural body weight. You can lose the weight, but you're not going to do it by hating yourself the whole way there. How can I say that with 100% assurance? Because just look at your situation. Has it worked so far? Are you just skipping off into the sunset every day with chocolate bars in each hand because you're so happy because you're at your natural weight and you hated your way there? Every day when you see yourself in the bathroom mirror, do you look and do you say, I am so disgusted by what I see that it makes me want to take care of myself and eat really great and end up, end up losing that weight? No. No, it doesn't. It makes you hate yourself so much more that you put yourself on another restrictive diet which fails and you binge and you repeat the cycle ad nauseum, right? 
So your first key, as we just said, is to do exactly as you did to reach the point that you're at now, right? You simply make a new decision. You make a new decision. This is my new fact. My body is perfectly fine as it is. I, I don't need to try and be somebody that I'm not. And then step two, you decide that that is now the truth. And that is a simple decision. That is all, that's all you did the first time around. It's we're doing it again. You decide this is my truth now. And then you repeat your new truth over and over and over in your brain until it becomes your new reality, right? That's how it works. If you need to write it out, write it out. If you want to put it on sticky notes, put it on sticky notes, right? Say it like a mantra until you brainwash yourself into believing it and it will of course it's going to take time so you're not going to do it twice three times and like that's the magic number and tinkerbell is going to come in and ding you on the head and you're going to be magically cured right it's going to take time it took time for you to get to the stage that you're at now and it's certainly not going to take as long because you didn't know what you were doing now you know now you savvy and you switched on because i've just given you the keys so it's not going to take as long to rewire it but you've got to do it and you've got to do it consistently. So for everybody who's just joining me, we are talking about rewiring your brain. <laughs> Not really. We're talking about how we actually reached the state of body hatred that we did to start with, how we already have had the keys all along to upping your level of body love. And then from a place of love and kindness towards yourself, you will want to look after yourself. You want to move your body each day. You want to exercise and do something that makes you feel good. You want to eat amounts that make you feel good, not stuff down Cheetos each night and ice cream because you feel so bad about yourself, right? When you look at your body in the mirror and you're disgusted, it doesn't make you want to take care of yourself. It makes you want to punish yourself and hurt yourself, right? So there we go. All right. Yeah. We've got so many, thank you to everybody who's joining me live. It's so awesome to see you here. I've got Shelby here. Yeah, she's got this, right, sticky notes. Now I know what the message is going to be posted in my closet, refrigerator, purse, everywhere, right? Positive thoughts. Yes. And it is the key. We have to do it. And you know what I would add to that as well with the sticky notes? I'm a huge fan of sticky notes. you got to keep switching them out because otherwise we get familiarity. I, don't, I can never say that word right familiarity blindness like if you leave it in the same place for too long you just stop seeing it there you just stop seeing it right so switch them out switch them around change colors change what they say put them here put them there right put them everywhere it's like a dr seuss rhyme <laughs> but it, it is the key it is the key so if you have any questions or comments anything else that you want to know from me today Throw it in the comments box and let me know. I have absolutely love spending so much time with you. And what I have going on at the moment, bam. For those of you who don't know, I have one position left for private one-on-one -on -one coaching. I work with um, oh, the most amazing, incredible women. I work with women who are in the media. I work with women who are mums and um, stay-at-home mums. I work with women in corporate industry. I work with women who are switched on and savvy. They got it going on. They know what they want for their body and their life, but their relationship with food is the sticking point and it bleeds over into every other, it bleeds over and impacts every other area of your life. Nothing works, nothing works when your relationship with food isn't working. So if you are tired of the constant daily battle with the refrigerator, if you're tired of constantly fighting against yourself and trying to you know, restrict and deprive and should I eat that, should I not eat that and I can't believe I did eat that and if that if you're done with all of that, messing with your head, you know, hating yourself, I love myself because I lost a kilo and then ooh, I hate myself because I gained, I gained a kilo, right? Let me know. Give me a shout out. You can message me here. You can private message me. I'm more than happy to help you in any way that I can. Um, but as I say, I have one position left now for private private one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'm super excited <laughs> to be working with the incredible bunch of women that I have going on at the moment. So if you have any questions, anything that you want to know from me, you feel free, drop it in the comments box here and I will always come back and help you in any way that I can. Anything that you want to know from me at all, you can send me a friend request, private message me. I'm always here for you. And... I want to wish you all the most fantastic weekend. I am super excited. It's freezing cold here in um, <laughs> it's freezing cold here in Adelaide right now, like super super cold. But I'm not going to let that stop me, right? I used to be a girl that hated winter. Ugh, winter, ur, 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 like sob the whole way through. I don't love being cold, but it doesn't mean that I can't enjoy my way through the process. <laughs> oh, four weeks to go. Four four weeks to go for my Adelaide girls. Four weeks to go, and then. 
bam for everybody who's got that warm weather i'm coming at you i'm taking it it's coming to, it's coming to me baby and i'm coming after you and i'm taking that warm weather with me thank you again to everybody i have so much fun being with you and do remember as always the only person who has the power to change your life is you the very best squill worthy part of that is you've got what it takes sending you so much love bye for now